hi there and welcome back to my art channel in today's video we're going to be working in gouache and i am using my new washi tape which i bought recently isn't that really cute <laughs> anyway today i'm going to be uh, drawing and painting jellyfish and um, i got my reference photo of pixabay i think it's just uh, basically a dark ocean with some luminous blue jellyfish in it and I'm just sketching them out right now with my uh, mechanical pencil and I must say I really enjoyed this painting probably because it was very repetitive <laughs> this is um, the same process for all the jellyfish basically and I was uh, listening to um, to an audiobook while I was painting and I don't know it was just really enjoyable and also really like the way it turned out I'm painting in the dark background using black and ultramarine blue and Prussian blue. Mostly black though, a really dark background working my way around the jellyfish. By the way, if you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and possibly subscribe. That would really help me out. I'm using a small brush to work around the jellyfish. Since this is gouache, I could actually paint over the background since it is opaque, but um, it's safer just to preserve those white areas to make sure that the background doesn't mix with the foreground and the colors are as vibrant as they can be, the blues when I put them in. So now I've finished painting in the background and I'm starting painting in the jellyfish now and I'm using basically all the blues I have in my in my set just to um, get the different hues of the different areas. The gouache I am using here is the, um, the Arteza gouache and it's the first gouache I've ever really worked with but I really enjoy it. I mean it, it works very well and um, the only disadvantage at the moment is that I can't buy the uh, the colors open stock. I, at least I haven't found a way to. Um, I really like the white that's included. Um, that is I do have another white, white from um, Schminke the um, the academy the student grade schminke white gouache and I don't really like that and I have a very big tube of it and I don't like working with it it's kind of lumpy and not as smooth and it doesn't re-wet properly and um, yeah I'm a bit disappointed that now that my white is running out I can't buy another tube and these paints are very inexpensive so that would have been perfect I think it was only like 17 euros for a set of, I don't know, um, 
30 colors maybe maybe not as many but there's plenty of colors in there you see I have four blue colors alone And I'm just following my reference photo here, looking where is it lighter, where is it a bit darker. At some areas that looked like there was a bit of purple in them. And sometimes I just mixed in some black to darken the areas. That were in shadow. And there's really not that much to say about the painting process because like I said, it's basically, I'm just repeating the same process for every jellyfish. But it was just so much fun, I don't know. I really recommend painting something like this. It's a bit like a design basically. That jellyfish in the middle looks a bit like a little ghost. Uh, the paintbrush I'm working with now is a miniature paintbrush. I think it's that's the smallest one I have. <laughs> The advantage with gouache is also that it's rewettable, so I can kind of blend a little bit. In the areas where I want it a little bit blended.
So only a few more jellyfish left to block out, or block in more or less. And now I'm nearly finished. So I have to only peel off the border now. And I hope you enjoyed watching my painting process. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye bye.